My guest today is an actor known for playing not one but two roles in the movie episode 6, Return of the Jedi, in which he played the Sec, a patron from Jabba's palace, and the Mon Calamari officer, one of the crew members of Om One, which make him one of the few stars who played both a good and a bad character. Please welcome Gerard home. Uh, first, uh, Gerard, welcome to Shawin again. Well, thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. Uh, C'est mon plaisir d'être ici. Good friends. Uh, so let me begin by asking what does the Star Wars saga and especially the first three movie of the series with Darth Vader, Luke and Leia means to you? Well for me they're very special. Uh, Return of the Jedi was the third Star Wars film to be made as you know. Uh, number one, uh, episode four and the second film Empire Strikes Back. They were big big successes internationally so we knew we were working on a film that was going to be a big success internationally. Uh, for me, they're the best Star Wars films because I'm a vintage guy myself, <laughs> so I like the vintage ones. Uh, younger people like the prequels uh, and the new generation like the new films, but for me, the original trilogy are still the special films. How did you get the two roles you play in Star Wars? Interesting question. Uh, okay, how do I say this quickly? When I was at drama school, like all actors training to be actors, one of the things you study is mime. Because mime is acting without words. Uh, you've got to know how to use your body if you have no words to say. So I'm actually credited at the end of the film as a mime artist. There are nine of us there. We were hired to bring to life the creatures of Jabba's palace and some of us were also cast as Mon Calamari. Uh, so I was cast for the two parts. What a lot of people don't know is that uh, there was a hole in the plot. There was a bit of the Battle of Endor with the Mon Calamari that didn't make sense. So there was an emergency meeting with the director and producer, George uh, uh, Lucas and Richard Marquand, and they wrote two, uh, two extra pages of scenes, additional dialogue, to try and cover this hole in the plot, which didn't make sense. So I had to audition that, because it was speaking words. Uh, and because I was cast as a mime, they didn't know if I could speak. However, I auditioned, I got the part, and I was given two pages of additional scenes to learn, which we filmed the next day. They weren't used because my mask was not made for articulation. Let me show you what it was like. It, it just looked very silly. But if fans want to see those lines and see the call sheets, that refer to those lines, they can find those on my website. All right. Uh, which one is your favorite and why? Oh, that's, that, that's like asking a mother which is your favorite child. I love them both. If I had to choose one, it would be Tessak Squidhead because I spent longer on him. It was like uh, four weeks on him and one week on the Mount Calamari. All right. Uh, one of my favorite scenes in the Return of the Jedi movie is the Great Battle of Ender's scene. Uh, what can you tell us about this shooting in particular? Okay, again, I'll tell you something that not a lot of people know. Uh, and if you come and hear my talk later, or fans look at my website, they can find what I'm talking about. Uh, there was a second unit scene, uh, which is, second unit is usually shot by an assistant director. It's not as important, uh, and the, the, the film's director works with the main actors, and the assistant will work with this, the less important actors. However, these scenes were the Battle of Endor scenes. So, the screens behind us were blue screens. These days, they're green screens. But in those days, it was blue screens. And the only person in the world who knew what the battle was going to look like on those blue screens, eventually, was George Lucas. So he directed the Battle of Endor scenes. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. But there's a little book called uh, The Making of Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. It was written in 1983 and you'll find that information in that book. So it's true. He didn't direct the rest of the film, that was Richard Markland, uh, but he did direct the your favorite scenes, the Battle of Endor. Maybe that's why they're your favorite <laughs> scenes. Next one. Uh 
Which actor did you have the most fun playing with in the Star Wars episode? Oh, again, that's very difficult to say. The most fun I had watching an actor was Harrison Ford, of course, and watching him up close. You know, I was this far away from him. And, you know, he's a film star, he's a very good actor, and it was fantastic to watch how he worked in a set with maybe 200 people, you know? And his, his concentration was immense. It was total. It was like... It was like he was by himself, and if the atomic bomb went off beside him, he would have heard it, but he wouldn't react. His, his, and I think that's what makes a great film star, that intense concentration. So I learned a lot watching him. Okay, probably one of the most difficult questions I have to ask to somebody in the world. Yes. Can you explain to me uh, why Darth Vader is so famous? Uh, because he's a bad guy. Everybody <laughs> loves bad guys. Uh, it was something I was going to say to you before, which is your favorite, Tessex, Spithead, or the Mount Calamari Officer. It's more interesting to play bad guys. Uh, it's very easy to play a good guy. You know, but it's more interesting and people like the bad guys. You always remember the bad guys. Very often you don't remember the good guys in the film. And Darth Vader is the ultimate bad guy. But in episode six, Return of the Je Jedi, he turns out to be maybe not such a bad guy after all. There is good inside him. So I think a lot of people, they like that. And they also maybe see something of themselves in it a little bit. You know, that there is, in English we call it redemption. Je ne sais pas le mot français pour redemption. Redemption. Okay, okay. Uh, the, maybe people see that in Darth Vader. Uh, can you explain why in 2019 he is still so popular? Oh, I don't know, because he's one of the cinema's classic bad guys. You know, everybody remembers Batman, Superman, these iconic characters. Darth Vader is an iconic character. And I have to say, because I know him very well, Dave Prowse, who is Darth Vader and always will be Darth Vader, he brought something to the role. You know? Yeah. What is your opinion about the loyalty and dedication of Star Wars fans? How do you explain why so many fans just love the role series and so powerfully? Well, if I knew the answer to those questions, I would be a millionaire. <laughs> Who knows why? Uh, I think the story of Star Wars, I remember being in the cinema in 1977, watching the first Star Wars film, which is now called A New Hope. And the whole world had seen it before it came to Britain, where I lived. And I thought, I'm not going to like this, I'm very cynical, I'm not going to like this. But from the moment that that spaceship went over my head, and everybody turned around to see where this was coming from, and this thing, I was hooked, I was hooked. It was like nothing else that had ever gone before and I remember thinking at the time it was like a I'm not a sci-fi fan okay sorry fans sorry to say that but I'm not a sci-fi fan but when I watched a new hope it was like cowboys and Indians <laughs> do you know for, in space in space you understand what I mean so so for me Star Wars it's, it's about uh, good versus evil in space uh, that's why it appeals to me and it's the same I think with Star Wars fans. Why people continue to love it, I don't know. Why its popularity is continuing to grow, I don't know, but it amazes me and I love it. And as I talk to you now, I can see someone in the character of me. And I've only ever seen that one. That's me. That's me. It's you? That's me. Uh, <laughs> it's my alter ego. I've only ever seen one of those before in Germany. But uh, that's fabulous. What an honor. Just another question, and it, this is the last one. What do you want the fans to always remember about you? About me? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't have a big ego to, to answer that question. Uh, just, I want the fans to know that I love them and I respect them. And I mean, I'm here because of fans this weekend, especially the Garnison Fortress Imperial, who I've known for many, many, many years. Uh, and they keep in touch with me. They're very loyal to me. And people who are loyal to me, I am loyal to them. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I love the fans. I'm, I'm a fan of the fans. More than a fan of Star Wars, I'm a fan of the fans. Just to close, que la force soit avec vous, Gerald Hall. Et uh, avec toi aussi, que la force soit avec vous tous.